Guys, I forgot how to play The Sims. I was literally in Legolas's inventory when I was like, I think that belongs to Legolas. Oh, dance, chicken do rock around to rock around. Be like, hey, what's up, Leaf? Um, I'm the man in the house, so I don't know what the hell you think you're doing here. But you know, it's uh, it's all good. Let me dance for you. First of all, Nanny, I fired you. So go away because you're weird. Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me, and Garden Legacy is back, baby! I started this generation challenge on July 24th, 2021. And no, I didn't have that memorized. I'm looking at it on my YouTube right now. It's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. If you're tuning in again, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you. If you're tuning in for the first time, we're on generation five. We're halfway through our 10 generation challenge. And for either viewer, here's some things that you've missed along the way. Nobody panic. Gandalf is streaking. Excuse me, sir. Did you just drag this out here to leave it on the ground? Nobody panic. Clark Kent is naked in front of my house. Uh, Hello. I'm trying to pursue a romance with Ash Lehe, but like if I end up hitting you off things with Tifa, who's wearing no pants, I'm honestly not adverse to that either. Are you playing like Resident Evil? Oh no, you're playing uh, Clash of Clans. I don't know if I should be worried. Chris Redfield called Mari Bell and said that her 15 minutes of fame are rapidly coming to an end. TikTok, Mari Bell. That's, that's very ominous, Chris. Oh, you know, when I made you a party animal, this wasn't quite what I expected. It just comes up, it eats all the food when it's set out. Look at, look at it. It's like, you want to give me some food? I'm starving. Oh, you know, good to see that uh, Dracula is refilling the punch. What's that spot? Ha ha ha. Trick do. Trick shows signs of the hero personality. Well, of course he does. Of course. Oh! You asshole! Oh, is my cat attacking John Travolta? Hell yeah. Does it tell me who it is? Merlin! Why are you a bird? What is happening? Oh no! My family has turned to a life of crime. Just summon the dead? What the f Fuck, dude. Alright, it's 11 o'clock on a school night. Y'all better get over here and ask for your presence. Now you, now you decided. Oh, he's like, I can't believe I bought Father Winter. What was I thinking? Get out of here, Rad Rad Dracula. Don't stare at me longingly. You're a terrible boyfriend. You know that? She, oh, oh no. Did she get struck by lightning? When I wasn't looking? Oh no. <laughs> Too big. Who the hell is John? And why is this why is this spirit fading away? And Gaston is calling me saying, Do you wanna come over and hang out? No, Gaston, I don't want you over here. You pissed me off. I'm not over it yet. Oh no! I'm sorry, Ferris. Gimli's gotta protect us. Why does this baby love you and hate me? Oh, you think you can get away, bitch? Not that easy. Because I'm gonna send my bees to attack you. Are they attacking her? Oh, she's getting attacked by bees! I'd like to thank you all for coming to my presentation today about how love and a hammer and a Dracula will bring you together. Legolas! Why are you breaking shit, Legolas? She just upstairs eating cold cuts in the baby's room. Baby's due date. Remind me. Are you pregnant, girl? With who? With who? She's married to Merlin. I did not know that. Look, girl, I'm sorry. We can't have a date because I didn't realize you were pregnant and, like, married to Merlin, girl. Like, I need to go home my box on fire oh my god seriously what is my vacuum doing what are you doing robot vacuum why are you outside in the snow Hello. Oh, you may notice that this presentation is pretty similar to my other presentation 
but I, I love TV so much that the story of Red Bird Dragula as a captain needs to be told. Suggestive conversation. <gasps> Alrighty then. Good to see that, uh, you know, Glamrock Chica is trying to vacuum up an entire pile of trash. Excuse me, why are you here? What are you doing? You have no business here. Hermione, are you ever going to come home from walking this dog? I mean, you felt like putting on the cloak of invisibility to walk this dog. So, you know, you should probably come home soon, girl. You should probably come home soon, girl. I understand you're burning to death, Gryphias. Maybe you should go inside and do yoga like I told you to, okay? Not again! I just want you to come out here and weed plants, okay? Quit getting hit by lightning, mate! You're gonna die! Not gonna lie, I just had a mini fucking heart attack because this was launching and it was like, Fail to launch! You closed the EA app too soon! You know what? Fuck you! I will play The Sims today! I did adjust my lighting here, courtesy of Mistress Mab. She got me a little ring light and it's pretty fucking cool. Don't mind me, I'm just restarting my game because I have to enable mods again. Stupid horse pack! Oh my god, here we go. Moment of truth! Restart! <laughs> Now, if I wasn't an absolute failure, I would have updated my bullet journal for this video, but I, I have not. You know, I've only had 75 to do it, but uh, today, today was not the lucky day. Here they are, the wizard hearts. Now, first, oh no, they're not even the wizard hearts now. Okay, first of all, I got the name completely wrong. They're the green leaves now. Fuck. Okay, first and foremost, though, where I was saying, you know, it's kind of a tie. Between little lard in here, high five in the wall, and uh, little um, what is even your fucking name? I forgot who your name is, Tannin. But I completely forgot about this baby up here, whose name is literally Leaf Greenleaf. He could be the heir. No one knows. If I remember correctly, we've certainly completed her aspiration. I think we're fine as far as career goes. So really all we have to finish are the skills that are required for this generation. Singing, and we're almost to level 10 of that. And the skills that have been the bane of my existence, we've got skiing, rock climbing, and snowboarding. And we need to max all three. How much life you got left, girl? Oh yeah, look at this. I got like almost all of my adult life left. Um, What is this for? Tell me, tell me about this. First energy failure. Well, that's, that's certainly incorrect. I'm just going to check on everybody's needs right quick. Polka definitely needs to use the bathroom and go to sleep. Um, this is dirty, but I'll worry about that in a second. Legolas, you're fine. Arden, you're fine. Um, you are not fine, baby. French toast sounds good, and we've got fruit for it anyway. So let's make the party size. I don't exactly know why I've got a goldfish in my inventory, so I'm going to sell that. Guys, I forgot how to play The Sims. I was literally in Legolas's inventory when I was like, I think that belongs to Legolas. Legolas reach cooking level six. Bro, he's got to go to work in an hour and he's like half exhausted. I don't think you should do that, Legolas. Go, buddy, go. Take your vacation day, and then I need you to go upstairs and take care of this baby. Bro, is Gimli eating my French toast? Because I totally think that he was. Oh, that's Frodo. See, I don't even remember which cat is the right fucking cat anymore. It's been so long. Perfect. Once you're done, um, taking care of this baby... Why don't you... Oh, there's a lot going on. Okay, hold on. New family dynamics trick. When it comes to Polka and Arden, a sense of order seems to abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for the older Sim, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling. That does sound like what I feel Arden is, so I'm going to go with yes. Um, we've also got a quirk 
up here. Tannin is a little extra messy around food. Are you? That's right. We've got Flower Bunny Day coming up. Oh my god, I totally forgot he was writing books. God, it's been forever. Orcs and Arrows has earned $68, and Bormare and the Three Bows has earned $64. It's GeekCon, but we're not going because we have children. Someone is calling me. Maybe I will go to GeekCon. Um, not with you. Work revealed. Light sleeper. Arden seems to sleep more lightly than other toddlers. Toddlers who are light sleepers have a tendency to wake up randomly when sleeping and will need to be put back to bed. Oh, yay. What are you coming in here to play in the toilet, baby? I mean, I guess that's fine. First of all, Nanny, I fired you. So go away because you're weird. We got another quirk for Arden. So he's apparently bright and sunny when he wakes up. So that's good. He's a little pissed off right now because it's smelly, but it's fine. I was going to have her eat, but I think I'm going to have them go to GeekCon. Oh, great. Our ex is here. That's that's wonderful. Hey, it's me. Go talk to me. Wait, my child acquired the potty training skill when I'm not even there? Awesome. I feel like Layla's wants to go use this telescope. So, um, you know, while I go talk to Noisy Onizuka, I'm going to send Legless over here. He's going to observe the skies here at GeekCon. Um, you know, I'm just over here making friends with everybody. I'm gonna have her ask to take a picture with Noisy and just be like, Hey, you look really cool. I enjoy your Luigi out. I would totally dress up as Luigi. Do we have Legolas do an ultimate gaming test? I don't know, uh, what his gaming score is. So, I don't know how well he'll do- Oh, this bitch totally sniped it from me, you bitch. Go, oh, Legolas, man. She left it alone. You can do it. I have faith in you. Someone's taken off in this fucking rocket behind me. So, here I go. Playing some baseball. I would be fucking amazing at baseball. Me being Legolas. Oh, no. My game froze. Don't crash, Gabe. It's fine. Look, I'm gonna save. Because that's freaking me out. Oh, Legolas has failed the ultimate gaming test. Oh, man. Why don't you come and, you know, talk to your wife about all that is. She is uh, totally surrounded by superheroes right now. So, you know, don't let that get into your head or anything. I'm gonna send Polka to explore space because you know we're here. So we might as well we're, well, we're at GeekCon. And while she does that, Legolas is gonna go ahead and work on his book, The Pale Orc Meets Death. It's gonna, that's gonna be our best seller, y'all. I'm just telling you. Wait! My sim is getting into the rocket ship. I missed it. It's fine. Something's alive. Rattle, rattle, crash. Polka is on the way back from the Comet Isan flea market. Hey! When she hears banging inside her rocket ship's cargo hold, she thinks back through recent salvage efforts. Nothing living. Certainly. Should Polka call out or try to take whatever it is by surprise? I mean, she's pretty cautious, so I think she should talk to it. Punk's here, so we should probably go and talk to Punk. A small cry of distress. So far, so good. Ever since Polka braced the door, the cargo hold has been silent. If she can make it to the pest extermination station, she can get the problem taken care of and be on her way. But then a new sound starts. Small. Sad. Sobbing? Does Polka stick to her guns or peek in the hold? She's going to take a peek. Ambushed. Polka slowly opens the door and peers inside. Just then, something soft and squishy thumps onto her back and a tentacle threads around her neck. Oh, damn. Don't move, a small voice whispered. Everything goes black. Polka faints, which is technically moving. Fuck, am I going to die in space? Captured. Ouch. Polka's head hurts, and when she tries to move... She realizes that she's been handcuffed to her pilot seat. A sharp, cold object is poking her back. Take me home, a voice stammers. It's, oh, it's, oh, sorry, take me home. It's oddly deep, and Polka realizes it's a juvenile voice trying to sound older. Does she comply or try to reason? Uh, try for reason. You know, while we're waiting, Legolas, why don't you try to go haggle for food? Because that definitely sounds like something that you would do. You'd just be like, 
I will trade you one piece of elven ring mail for your hot dogs. The stowaway. So much better. Free of handcuffs, Pocus seizes up the creature she bought as taxidermy. It's just a stupid juvenile that was dared by its brother to pretend. Now it wants a joyride around the galaxy and a free lift home. Polka knows she, should, she would get charged with alien napping, but she did promise. Yeah, sure. I don't know when I promised to take it on a joyride, but I apparently did. Hello. Um, would you like... Uh, Kiki, you would totally barter for potions, so don't shake your head at me. Joyride in space. Yeah! Nothing like a wide-eyed kid to make Polka feel like a hero. And with four eyes, the effect is doubled. After a speed race around planet Tom Toma Tutu and a few stellar flips, she deposits four eyes at home and receives a nice reward from its mom. Hey, fine. Give me an $11 hot dog, you price gouger. Am I home yet? Nope. I am still in space. Oh, here I come. Here I come back home from space. We're going to take a screenshot of that and save it for, you know, posterity. And I'll send these guys home. Yeah, just sit down and eat the rest of my hot dog. Because it wouldn't let me put it in my inventory. I'm off I'm off the jog home. Um, did I not have my bike? Nope, I certainly do not. Everybody's doing pretty well with their needs at the moment. So Legolas, I'm going to have... Oh, you wanted to work out in a second, buddy. I promise. Go in and... Uh, what do you need for your job? Do you need to work out? You need to go jogging. So... Why don't you teach your little baby here to... Oh, yes, he would totally be strict. Um, absolutely. Hulk is up here singing, working on her skills. You can come up here and play with a toy while your little brother's just chilling. That seems like a good idea. Okay, now that the baby's stolen half of your energy... Why don't you go jogging? Leaf just became good friends with Polka, so that we got that going for us. I mean, my toddler can talk to and entertain the baby. Go, uh, oh, he's putting his toys away. What a studious little man. Go talk to your baby brother, though. Like, I want to see what happens. Like, just roll up in here and be like, hey, what's up, Leaf? Um, I'm the man of the house, so I don't know what the hell you think you're doing here. <laughs> but, you know, it's, uh, it's all good. Let me dance for you. <laughs> We're gonna work on her right, her, her right climbing skill. What the heck is that? Oh, bro, I know you don't think you're done. You're only seventy-five percent done, so you better, you better jog some fucking more, okay? Oh, damn. Okay, that machine is broken, and it just flicked us off of it. So we should probably repair that. All right, Legolas is exhausted, but he did also manage to finish his jogging for work, so I'm going to send him on to home to eat some French toast. Oh my god, look at this kid. He matched my energy for two fucking seconds. He looked at me when I walked by. He's like, holy shit, is that Legolas? Work revealed destructive. Uh-oh, Tannen is kind of a destructive toddler. So it looks like I don't have tablets for them. Which I do need to buy. We'll just get one because, like, something tells me that Legolas would not like the idea of his kids learning from the internet. He'd be like, no, they must learn from experience. And Polk would be like, bro, it's fine. We gotta travel to Mount Kamarabi. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Medium intensity snowboarding over and over. Because that's the skill that's the lowest right now. That we need to work on while we're out here, so... Hey, excuse me, I've got, you know, snowboard... I can talk today. I've got boarding to do. It's, it's super imperative that I do it. Did I fall? Someone tell me I didn't. Woo! Go me. Playlist is getting his royalties. Excuse you, you're supposed to be snowboarding, not just standing here. Go over to the other hill then, if there's a big fucking line. Like, why are you just, why are you waiting for that person playing with clay? Like, go the fuck over here. Do what you need to do, girl, okay? I need you to get down the hill so I can get you some Insta soup or whatever. Oh man, look at me go. I'm getting super good at this. Oh, dance, chickadoo, rock around, to rock around. 
Heck yeah, miso soup. You better give me my miso soup. If I have to shake you and I die, then I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> See, look what's what's happening. Look at that. I'm going to have to shake it. It's fine. We're fine. If she dies, <laughs> we're going to have to restart this generation with one of the boys. I don't have anything in my inventory that I can eat, so I'm going to have to shake it again. Oh my god. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. You're fine. It'll it'll come out this time and it won't fall on you. Yay! Legolas is off at three. I think at one point we were trying to be friends with that beard guy. I don't quite remember. Let's go talk to him, though, if he's still around. Where did he go? All right, in true sporadic poke of fashion, we're going to go and talk to him about our new adventure on the slopes. We're going to practice fighting. And then we're going to tell a joke about aliens. Because that's what we do with our friends. We're like, hey, let's get, get in this pretend fight with me. That way I can be ready if Voldemort comes to my house again. You know, I don't want to have to have my husband do all the fighting. So that's good. Head on home, girl. You did a good job working on skills today. My perfect little angels are fine. Toddlers are so freaking easy. I realized when I thought toddlers were hard is because I never had infants before. Oh, hold on. I told you to eat that, and you do not want to eat that. That's actually spoiled. Hello, Grandma Daisy. She's been thinking about getting to know Icarus Wizard Heart better as a friend. Oh, no. Does she have Alzheimer's now? Like, go for it. I'm sure you'll be great friends. Look, bro. Get out of my house. Don't be mad. I got to fix this, apparently. And then I got to, um, are you just going to stand there? Because I don't think so. It worked so well last time I, you know, tried to get somebody with spells. But maybe I can shock him. And it'll, yeah, eat it. Now get out of my house. Oh my god, is this fucking sink broken too? Jesus Christ, man. Now it's uh your turn to go talk to your brother. So like, open this up. Toddle on over there. Be like, hey, baby leaf. How's it? How's it going? Um, I can dance better than Tannin. I should have her bake something to take to Icarus tomorrow. So once she's done eating here, I'll have her bake some oatmeal cookies. How you doing, baby? You're fine. You're just wandering around talking to cats and playing in cabinets. Oh, I know you think you want to go to sleep, Legolas. <laughs> but that baby is crying. You got to get up. You got to get in there. Legolas, why are you outside if you had, like, the help the baby thing, first of all? Second of all, you can go to bed. Polka's got this, man. That's gonna wrap our first episode back into Garden Legacy. Let me know if you're excited to see where the series goes. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.